Oh, hi there. Um, so, uh, I am creating a group of videos that are going to walk you through the process of setting up um, an account at Baidu's. You know, Baidu has essentially like a webmaster central. Um, and you may want to do the basic setup uh, yourself, or you may want, I was, re I was thinking to myself, you know, it may be that you're an SME, small, medium-sized enterprise in China, and you, you just want your employee to get your site registered and sort of in the uh, Baidu ecosystem, to get yourself registered inside of Baidu. Um, just like with Google, uh, it can help your website, all right? Uh, and, you know, I could talk, you know, ad nauseum about why that is, and I suppose I'll do that in another video, but let's get down to the basics. Um, okay, uh, if you don't know, I have a BA in Chinese. I got it about 24, 25 years ago. I've been reading in Chinese, reading newspapers and novels for over 20 years, so I'm... Uh, there's no such thing as modern standard Chinese that I don't understand. I, I took some, and it, it, look, I, I, let's just cut to the chase. I, I'm gonna uh, speak off and on in Chinese, uh, assuming just little tidbits here and there. I don't wanna irritate you, right? So that if you have an employee that wants to follow along and get uh, you know, some of the, the the fun, the, if you get yourself registered within Baidu and you do some of the things that they want you to do, it, it can pay off pretty well, right? Um, and then you can look after a few months where your site stands and see if you really need to get quote unquote professional help. Um, alrighty, okay, here we are at John John, right? The, this is up subdomain. Now, you know, it's, you know, you've got to understand it's kind of a pain. I've already got an account, but first, let's assume you don't have an account. All right, so you click that button there, right? Did you see that button? Right here, it says Liji Jutsa, right? It says register now. Okay. Uh, so here's your username, your cell phone, um, and you know, so what you're gonna need to do, um, you put in your username. Now, and so, so here's the thing, right? I've already, you know, this, this username uh, or this cell phone, it's already in use, so I can't go through the process fully there. Um, and, but at any rate, what you should need to do is you're going to press on a button, uh, and you will, uh, um, you'll get a code that will be sent to your cell phone, and then you're going to put that, uh, um, right here, okay? And then you're going to set your password, and then you're going to log in, um, it has to be six to 14 characters. Uh, yeah, you can use, uh, you can use numbers, um, but you, and, and remember that uh, um, it's case sensitive. Um, yeah. All right, so uh, let's see here. Okay, so that's the first thing, right? That's the first thing. Um, now next, well, let me wait a minute. In the next video, uh, we're going to touch on you've got to validate an email address, and it and it has to be what they call a mainstream email address. Okay, it has to be a mainstream email address. Now, what that means is, if you try to use a Gmail account, if you try to use your Gmail account, they will simply reject it. Okay, if you've got some domain you've registered, like uh, 
you know, at my website, an American web developer, www.anamericanwebdeveloper.com. Uh, they will reject it, okay? So we're gonna go into that in the next email or in the next video. Uh, okay.